So let's talk a little bit now about some of the causes of phagocephaly. The most common causes that we can see have to do with pre-birth or prenatal care. Number one, the womb position. Babies who get stuck in one position in the womb do not have enough room to move or the womb is tilted or constrained in some way have a higher risk of developing phagocephaly. A breech presentation can also lead to abnormal head shape. The next factor is multiple births. It appears that phlegiocephaly is common in cases of multiple births where there is limited space. So if there's twins or triplets or anything more than that because of the compression inside the uterus or the position of the babies, usually one or both may have some form of phlegiocephaly. Premature birth is a common factor in phlegiocephaly. Premature babies have very soft skulls. The membranous portion of the skull, which is all the surrounding cranial bones, the frontal, the parietal, and the occipital bones, are very membranous in nature, so they're pliable within themselves. And since the baby hasn't developed fully, these skulls tend to be a little bit softened. They also may spend extensive time in neonatal place, in neonatal care, so they'll be laying in one position, basically against their occiput, for a longer period of time, so normal skull development may not occur, and that will cause a flattening in the posterior aspect of the skull.